Canadian geese population numbers have been on the rise in recent decades, but that is what was expected to happen when they were introduced to areas they had not yet inhabited in the 1970s to 90s. Breeding populations especially have taken off to the point where they're causing problems. It started off as conflicts uh, with mostly with sports fields and that. People playing soccer don't necessarily like to run through goose poop. So that's sort of been an issue for the last 15, 20 years. But lately, uh, it's been noticed that the geese are causing a problem in local estuaries. When they're browsing, they, they actually pluck the, the uh, plants right out of the marsh, which has been documented to cause some pretty severe damage up in the rivers around uh, the Qualcomm Parksville area. Vancouver Island University biology student Stuart Pierce initiated a research project first approaching his professor, Eric Demers. We contacted the city of Nanaimo, found out that they were also interested in finding out, finding out about geese. So this was a great opportunity to, to then conduct a project that uh, would benefit, not only allow a student to obtain a grade into a course, and, but also give a lot of very good hands-on experience in conducting a, uh, a research project that would serve also the community, as well as meeting some academic goals for, for his degree. 200 geese were captured during molting season and banded by leg and neck collars. The collars for the project are specifically a white collar with black lettering denoted by the letter P. We're trying to get an assessment of how these geese move around and how many they are, um, whether they're actually resident geese and or whether they are here for the summer and migrate away and all sorts of stuff like that can be found out by, by collaring the birds. And it also gives us a proportion of the population. We've been conducting surveys every three weeks or so and uh, the route it's a route through the city uh, with about 60 stops and so uh, on this route we just try to drive it relatively uh, uh, within a, a short amount of time to count any geese that we encounter and we go through uh, places like the Nanaimo estuary, Nanaimo harbor, Departure Bay, we also go to local lakes as well as uh, fields and uh, uh, school fields as well and basically anywhere we think geese might be to count them as well as to figure out how many of those that are present have a collar. At first throughout the summer we were seeing about between 300 to 350 on our regular survey and on the last survey uh, we saw over 750 so we're seeing a definite movement of geese into the area and through the area and we're o we've only seen about uh, 100, just over 100 of our collared birds have been reported so there's a lot more geese moving in and, and obviously a lot more have gone elsewhere. So there's all sorts of moving pat patterns we're starting to see and we'll continue to watch them throughout the winter and find out what's going on with the goose population. The community is encouraged to participate in the project. We have a website set up. It's viu.ca slash goose project. And on the website, we've created a form. Um, so if you see a goose, you can record the number and there's a form set up there with all the particulars, the location, what the geese were doing, how many geese were with them, and you can fill out the code, and that's, that will contribute greatly to our database in finding out what these geese are doing. Though some consider them nuisances, others would call them beautiful. Stuart has encountered various opinions about our Canadian goose. It depends who you talk to, really. Some people some people don't want to see them at all and other people think they're great. So there's, that's definitely, uh, like any management issues, that's something you have to, have to work around and it depends. We don't really know what the impacts are. There doesn't, doesn't necessarily appear to be an ecological problem in Nanaimo in my opinion, but there certainly are some issues with sports fields and the human goose conflict side of it. The current population of Canadian geese on Vancouver Island is estimated at about 15,000 and growing. Banding projects like these have contributed much of what is known about Canadian geese. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Kelly Robinson.